Hello lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a little progress update. So I did manage to get my 35 kg motors installed on all, all four legs. Uh, but a couple things. So firstly, they still got warm after using them quite a bit. So what I've decided to do is put some heat sinks on them to hopefully help a little bit. I can't really tell if it's helped much because I don't have a digital thermometer. I'm pretty much just touching it to tell the difference. Uh, I'm sure it's making a difference. It did rob me of maybe a degree or two of space here, so I recalibrated my legs so they stopped before the heat sinks hit the legs. Um, and I did pick up enough that I could do the other motors as well. The coax motor um, surely would never be a problem. I've never felt that get warm. But this um, femur motor definitely gets a little bit warm too. So I actually couldn't find the right size. I think this total is 40 by 15 to do it in one piece. And I couldn't find anything close to do it in multiple pieces uh, with staying away from the silver ones because I really didn't want just the plain old aluminum. They were kind of ugly. But I did manage to find they sell various sellers sell a kit of three sizes this tiny guy a square one and this half size one for some kind of raspberry pi kit uh, and i was able to pick up a package of them of five of the sets i think it was for like four bucks so it was definitely worth it for all these motors and then i just picked up a bunch of 10 by 10s which i'm going to put on the other motors so yeah i think that'll make a difference but in my previous video, I think I mentioned that these guys can take over 8 volts of power. Now, our 20 kilogram ones cannot. They're limited to 6.8, and that's what we have Nova configured and wired for. However, I was quickly thinking, oh, hell, I'll just pump 8 volts to these four guys and keep the rest of them at 6.8. However, can't do that the way we've wired it and with the hardware that we have. We have the battery going into one high amperage buck converter and from there it gets taken down to 6.8. So the only way I could do it is to add two buck converters, both high amperage. I did find a smaller form factor one that can do 10 amps and that should be enough for the four motors down here. So I may do it, I may not. We'll see how the programming of the, of the walking gates goes from here okay but they are much quieter they sound much smoother and yeah I, I definitely wish i had invested in these guys for all 12 motors from the beginning and i probably wouldn't have burned through the eight or ten that i did which could have easily paid for those anyhow that being said yes walking gates so Rather than stare at Nova here sitting on the ground, I am going to talk over a little video of her playing around with all the movements she can do. And we'll talk about her walking gates. But let me just mention before we do that, uh, I am going to come out with, by popular demand and request, not a step-by-step -step video, but let's call it a guide a step-by-step -step guide clearly i'm not going to build another nova clearly i'm not going to tear her down and rebuild her from every single step along the way but it has been noted that i have over 70 videos on this channel for her and we have changed a lot of things uh we've fixed a lot of bugs along the way a lot of the mechanical and design and plastics have changed uh, the hardware has changed, the remote control has changed, so a lot has gone on that it's been clear to me that it would be very difficult for somebody to come into the project now and firstly watch however many hours my 70 videos comes out to, probably 30, 40 hours of video, which would be very confusing because again, half the project it used the ps2 remote right so that's a complete waste of time if you're really going to build the full project you won't even bother with that you'll build yourself this as well so anyhow that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try my best to make a summary guideline uh guidebook guide whatever we want to call it guide videos set of videos walking through ground to finish from printing your first pieces to assembling the plastic, assembling the electronics, the wiring, 
Uh, obviously the remote will be a separate guide in itself, but likewise covering all of those things, calibration, uh, the troubleshooting stuff, any of the major changes we've made along the way, and the one or two hacks with the PCB board, depending what version you have. So I'm gonna try and do all that in hopefully two videos maybe, and then I'll do my best to document it all on Nova's website as well. So that way future builders will have an easier time of building it. All right, and then lastly, I'm still shooting for January 1st to be quote unquote done with the Nova project, at least for now, because we yeah, over on Discord server, we're all getting a little anxious to move on and build something new. There are a few ideas kicking around on there. I think after another week or two, I'll probably put a poll together, either on YouTube or Nova's website or both, and get some feedback from everybody and we'll collectively decide what to do. Uh, people are kicking around um, rovers, uh, an insect or fish or a small animal. Uh, somebody else pointed out a humanoid. That would be a hell of a project to, to go into. That does interest me, but it would be a massive project. But personally, I, I'm going to put a lot of thought into trying to come up with some sort of uh, aid, I guess, for, you know, um, children or seniors or anyone with special physical, mental, or emotional needs. And I think uh, that would get give me and everybody else a lot of fulfillment out of doing some kind of new cool project. All right, everybody, Look, that's enough talking. Let's go check out what Nova can do right now with all her various moves and the half-ass walking gates that I've been playing with. Keep in mind, none of it is perfected. A lot of it is still experimental for me to get the feel of the best movements to focus on, where she'll actually walk and perform the best. Uh, you will see in the video that I'll show you guys, though, and I've showed you this before, that I do have her height adjustment available in all of her walking gates. I noticed today, playing around, that if I have her stand tall, boy, does she move smooth. And if we go and look at some of the Spot Mini Boston Dynamics robot, you'll notice that it's often standing up pretty straight and tall. I mean, the way we have her homed, yes, her feet are you know, angled like that. But I'm starting to realize that's not the best way to do walking gates because it puts a lot of the weight, probably most of the weight and strain on these motors right here at her, at her tibia joint. And yeah, that's why I think I've been burning through these motors mostly. I have burned a couple of those too as well. But again, I think, and I'll show you again in the, in the walking gates in a minute, if she's standing tall like that, she seems to definitely perform the best because of, when you're doing that I think these two motors are both sharing the complete weight because they're in line with each other so that being said let's check out how Nova can walk a bit and I'll talk about the gates on an overdub thanks for watching guys like share and subscribe yeah hey guys I really wanted to get that video out of her on the ground walking but I want to refine the walking a little bit more we're almost there I've got her walking in all directions pretty well I want to try and play around with the kinematics a little see if I can incorporate that and then something we forgot about or haven't paid much attention to lately is the IMU unit so maybe we can get that guy going too and maybe incorporate some of that so yeah I just wanted to get this video out to you all so stay tuned and definitely this coming weekend we will have her on the ground and walking talk to you all then thanks for watching guys